Hi everyone, so today I want to show you or I want to sharing with you uh, image, uh, the simple image classification using the model of neural network which is deep learning models uh, so now I want to use the MATLAB version 23A which is the latest one so you can download or you can use your licensing from your university academic use okay, okay. and the important things uh, you have to already exist installation of your toolbox that is the image processing the image uh, computer vision a deep learning toolbox and, and another one is the machine learning toolbox so if you have then you can use the uh, deep learning network so i clear all so this clc is clear command window so i clear all command window will be empty then i clear the workspace okay the previous workspace i was clear and set uh, and then i was close all the figure that i been used before so this command is read the data set that you have uh, saving in your directory so which one this is the last of your folder dg data set so you can see on your matlab toolbox and then and and demos and and data set and the last the last one is dg data set if you can see there is a uh, one and uh, sorry zero until nine folder which is uh, inside this folder you have the images of your numbers so this is the zero numbers so this one is five all the inside of the uh, folder each have uh, 1000 images okay um, so you have to train uh, which is the classification of each numbers in their type of categorical okay back to the matlab software so you have to read which is the directory of your data set and then you have to read the image data set so image data store and if you open your function of image data store you can read one by one so this is the matlab MATLAB IO data store, image data store so you can open also so the function you can see classification of different so there is uh, more than 1000 rows okay so that is uh, come from your toolbox so you no need to uh, coding anymore so this is very very simple so image data store will read all the pattern all the pixel in your data set okay so this is image data store so you have uh, 1000 1000 sorry not 1000 10000 because you have uh, you have 10 1000 image of each uh, folder then you multiply by 10 folder 0 until 9 so you can get 10,000 of images okay so this is the figure that you want to see if you want, if you want to see so this is the random permanent so you can see only the 10 of the 10,000 of your image so this is uh, this is the randomly pick up from your all the data set so this is the label count count each label in your IMADS image the test store so if you evaluate you can see all the label of each uh, folder you have 10 count that just mean that you have uh, sorry not the 10 that is the 1000 images of each your folder so red image so you want to see the size of each image that is 28 multiplied by 28 the 28 indicates the you have the 
28 column and also 28, 28 uh, rows then unsigned integer 8 bit depth of your images so this is the grayscale images uh, so if you have uh, uh, so do you understand what is unsigned integer 8 so this is the bit of your images the pixel number maximum that you can reach in your pixel numbers so i want to show you two two until two uh, uh, so you can get two five uh two five six that is the number of maximum pixel can reach in your in your uh, images okay because this is very very important that in, if you uh, involve in image processing field okay so this is a number of training i just use uh, 1000 uh, if you can if you want to use 500 also can or you if you want to use all the data set is 10000 also can Okay, so this is number of training. I uh, use the 10. So this is the split image of the label for the training image and also for the validation. Oh, okay. So this so okay. So you have to use below than 1000. Okay. Okay, so this is the layer of you want to training. So this is the input of your image. That it, this is the convolution 2D layer because you, your image is only 2D. So this is batch normalization of layer, ReLU layer, max pooling layer. Okay, you can evaluate all the layers here. Okay. So, if you want to see the graphic of your layers, you can go to the apps. You can go to the Deep Network Designer. This is very, very special in your MATLAB software that uh, it's, more, it's more easier if you want to uh, modify your network or your connection or your parameters in your convolution max pooling or ReLU layer that is very very easy so what i want to do is uh, i want to import uh, my layer this is my layer that i want uh, that i have already reached uh, read in my coding so i want to import import because the blank is if you want to design the new one so I want to import the already network. So of course the workspace will show the 15 layers. So you can click OK. So this is your uh, graphic layers network. Okay, you can zoom up, zoom in. So all the names, all the staging are same with the these layers okay same okay and then this is option of the training option uh, you uh, sorry you can also uh, change the training uh, into the training option here okay this is all uh, also the training option that you want if you want to change the parameters the the size of the convolution uh, filters and so on okay but i have already coding so i just uh read okay, this is mids validation data is very level okay so i want to okay i start back so i direct i directly i directly to train the image data set 
So this is uh, the machine will be normalization of the input data. Okay, this is the accuracy uh, graph. This is the loss graph. So this uh, that uh, there is uh, the number of epochs that you have to use. Uh, this is the iteration, and then this is the validation frequency of iteration. So very very simple. Uh, Simple, simple. So that is complete of our training. So if you can see, uh, the accuracy reach hundred percent, up to ninety percent when the training uh enter the epoch two. Okay, then uh. Also, the final we have the rich accuracy in your data set. So this is the prediction validation of the my label and data set. Okay. So this is the accuracy of your data set. Uh, almost ninety. Uh, almost uh, one one hundred percent. Okay, it's ninety eight. 98.76 98.76 same so let me to uh, to show you how to testing the others uh, image sample so i'm read uh, so i'm read it anything so I want to uh, use the number here, pick up here, marker one, I pick the more thickness, that is the eight numbers. Okay, then save lima. So that is the lima. Uh, and So I write here upon the PNG. So I read the image first. The image is the uh, RGB. So I have to customize the size of the image because we have set the input layer is twenty eight multiplied by twenty eight. Uh, first, I have to image resize. Okay, testing. So I put the semicolon. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to put the input size. So the input size. So the the new image will become twenty eight multiplied by twenty eight. So I want to convert the RGB image. To the grayscale image, RGB to grayscale. So testing. So this one is the RGB image. So I want I have to convert. So I have done convert it, and then I want to see which is the output of my image. My data are uh, my lay my net layers can classify or not. The output is correct or wrong. So classify function. We have the net one. Testing of the image, and then this is I think the level count. Okay. Okay, then you have to evaluate. So read this parameter net testing classified. Okay, it's very very dangerous here. Okay. So the categorical is eight. Okay. So it's very very sharp. So I want to 
figure I'm sure out and then the title is title I want to string out O U T Not showing. Never mind. Okay, this is very, very. Oh, sorry. This is category called. So this is not the. Uh, this is testing. Output. So very good. This is my image. Then this is my string out. It's very very sharp. Eight category. Okay. So hope uh, my video will help you how to design your network designer. Uh, or network layers in your image classification. Thank you.